Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony, and with this channel, we bring you guys a variety of tech-related content. So, if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell down below so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. In today's video, we're gonna make some simple tweaks to a Unify guest Wi-Fi. All right guys, I recently did a video on how to create a Unify home network from scratch. And during that setup process, we created a guest Wi-Fi. The only problem with creating the guest Wi-Fi during that setup process is it creates an open guest network, meaning anyone can join without a password. So what we're going to do in today's video is, one, we're going to lock down that guest Wi-Fi at minimum with the password, and two, we're going to restrict the speeds that the guests can use. Let me get started with the process. All right, I'm signed into the Unify controller on the cloud key. And one of the first things we need to do is password protect that open guest Wi-Fi. So to do so, we need to come down to the settings icon in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. Next, from the blue menu, let's select wireless networks. And here you can see the two Wi-Fi networks that were set up during that original setup process. We're going to focus today on the guest lab Wi-Fi which you can see here is an open network. So we need to change that. So we're gonna come over to the edit icon and click on that. And you can see right under the security area, it's set to open. So all we need to do is change that from open to WPA personal. And now we have the spot to enter our security key or pass key. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to make it very simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight please use a stronger password in real life situations. Once you have your password entered, click on save. And now we've successfully changed that from an open network to a password protected Wi-Fi network. The second thing we talked about doing was uh, restricting the internet speeds that the guests will be using. So to do that, first thing we need to do is come over to the blue menu again and choose user group. Here you can see we have a default user group with unlimited speeds. So we're gonna create a new user group by clicking on create new user group. We'll give it a name, we'll call it guest. And we're going to enable bandwidth uh, limit download and bandwidth limit upload. And we're gonna limit the download to five megabits per second and two megabits per second upload. Once you have the parameters entered, Click on save. And now we're not done yet. We've created the group and we've put the restrictions in place inside of the group. But now we need to apply that group to the guest Wi-Fi network. So we're going to come back up in the menu to wireless networks. And we're going to click on the guest lab Wi-Fi edit button again. This time we're going to expand the advanced options. And where it says user group, we're going to click on the drop down menu and we're going to change the default user group to the guest user group that we just created. Once we've done that, we're just going to click the green save button. And now if we go back up to our devices view, we can see that the UAP AC light is provisioning. Once that is connected and there you go, it's connected. We should be able to test out the speeds on both the regular Wi-Fi and the guest lab Wi-Fi and see if the um, user the guest user policy, uh, the user group policy is in effect. So let's give that a shot now. So now it's time for the actual moment of truth and the speed tests. On the left side of the screen, you'll be looking at the regular lab Wi-Fi and on the right side of the screen, you'll be looking at the guest lab Wi-Fi. You be the judge. So that about wraps it up for today, guys. 
a few simple tweaks for your guest Wi-Fi on your home network. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share, and use those Amazon affiliate links. It doesn't change your price, but it does help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. Thank you for watching. See you next time.